An essential ingredient of a spectrally efficient mobile network is a link adaptation algorithm. The link adaptation functionality tailors coding rate to the dynamic wireless channel between a transmitter and receiver. Current link adaptation schemes uses periodic pilots called CSIRS sent by the base station for the mobile terminal to determine the optimal coding rate and report back to the base station. However, these schemes do not come close to achieving channel capacity, even for low mobility, due to the degraded tracking of the channel variations in time between the periodic pilots. To address this, we propose an alternative link adaptation approach using an approximate rateless coding scheme. The base station initially transmits data at a high coding rate and continues with incremental redundancy versions of the data as long as the receiver responds with a NAC message. The retransmissions are hard combined, reducing the effective coding rate with each retransmission until the data is successfully decoded. The method can track varying channel conditions even for highly mobile users and achieve significant gains over current link adaptation. In the demonstration, we compare the performance of the proposed rateless-based link adaptation with the traditional scheme in real interference scenarios. Receive antennas are placed at selected locations, capturing the transmitted signal and real-time interference from surrounding commercial cellular base stations. We then examine the throughput supported by both schemes under such interference. In the first experiment in Hoda Sharon, Israel, we use a carrier frequency of 2.33 GHz with two antennas for two MIMO layers. The top figure on the right shows the instantaneous interference spectrum per RX antenna, while the bottom figure shows the resulting instantaneous SNR. The center figure shows the cumulative throughput obtained by the conventional link adaptation in the blue curve and the proposed enhanced link adaptation in the red curve. As can be seen, the new link adaptation improves throughput by 45%, though interference varied a lot both in time and frequency. Moving to a carrier frequency of 2.15 GHz, an LTE spectrum with highly frequency selective interference, a gain of over 75% in throughput is demonstrated with two-layer MIMO. The final carrier frequency tested is 3.58 GHz. This is a 5G carrier with relatively light traffic, creating time and frequency selectivity in the interference. Here, we are testing with four receive antennas and two MIMO layers. A throughput gain of 40% is demonstrated. Moving to our campus in San Diego, a throughput increase of 40% and more than 45% is demonstrated at two selected locations tested with a carrier frequency of 3.78 GHz and a single receive antenna. As we have seen, our new link adaptation method demonstrated significantly enhanced throughput with capacity gains of over 40% across different interference type, carrier frequency, and geographical locations. More technical details on our proposed link adaptation can be found in a recent paper Winning by successive failures, enhanced link adaptation for cellular networks.